Humans have evolved to survive and reproduce. But to do either of these activities well, we need two opposing skills, mimicry and differentiation. We mimic others to survive because things that others have done without getting hurt are less likely to also harm us. Imagine you're sent back to a hunter-gatherer community 4,000 years ago. You would eat what they eat, sleep where they sleep, and mimic pretty much everything they're doing. Failure to mimic could lead to an attack by a wild animal or poisoning from a tasty-looking berry. For similar reasons, humans like familiarity. When we are in a familiar territory, we don't have to look over our shoulder all the time. We know from experience that we are safe. When a stranger joins our group, we want them to behave like we do, so that we know they're one of us and we don't have to fear them. However, the familiarity that helps us to survive in a dangerous world becomes less useful when we're trying to mate. When we're looking to spread our genes, we want to stand out from the crowd so that we become visible to potential mates and to reduce our competition. We want to differentiate. Evolution has ingrained both of these activities in our subconscious, so we're constantly doing one or the other. Am I in a strange environment? Blend in. Has the danger passed? Stand out. When we start working for a new company, we analyze the office culture and start mimicking our co-workers as fast as possible. But once familiarity sets in, we're quick to demonstrate how we're different and why we'd make a valuable contribution to the team. In his book, Invisible Influence, Jonah Berger explains that there's a point between these two activities where we are similar enough to belong, yet still being different enough to compete. He calls this point optimal distinctiveness and argues that it's the reason for a long list of otherwise counterintuitive behaviors that humans show every day. For example, despite being a bad thing, hurricanes are the inspiration for many newborn names. Not because people like naming kids after hurricanes, but because their frequency in the news makes similar names feel more familiar. Conversely, a deeper understanding of our need for differentiation would allow luxury brands to benefit from counterfeit products rather than fighting them. Luxury bags are a way for the rich to differentiate themselves from others. Allowing counterfeit sales of older models will encourage the rich to buy newer models sooner to continue standing out. Jonah Berger describes many remarkable studies about how our drive for optimal distinctiveness influences behavior and how we can use it to help us better achieve our goals. In our next video, we will look at some of these studies and how you may use them to help you in your life.